Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is India underestimating the cost of invasive species. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. A recent study published in Nature Ecology and Evolution highlights that the global cost of managing and mitigating invasive species has been grossly underestimated. India, which faces severe challenges from invasive alien species like Lantana camara, emerged as the country with the highest percentage discrepancy between reported and actual management expenditures, indicating massive underreporting of costs. Now let's discuss about key findings of the study. The study estimated that biological invasions cost society over $2.2 trillion between 1960 to 2022, with plants being the most economically damaging group, followed by arthropods and mammals. Europe bore the highest regional impact at $1.5 trillion, 71.45% of global costs, while Asia accounted for $182 billion. Importantly, India showed the highest percentage discrepancy, 1.16 billion percent, between reported and actual management costs, suggesting massive underreporting. This highlights that India's economic burden from invasive species is far greater than officially recorded. Now let's talk about challenges in India. Underreporting of costs, lack of systematic cost assessment and incomplete data reporting. Widespread infestation species like Lantana, Kamara, dominate Bandipur and other reserves, increasing fire hazards. Competing conservation priorities. Focus on flagship species, tiger, elephant, diverts resources from invasive management. Trade and globalization. Major pathways for invasive alien species. Introduction. Remain inadequately regulated. Fragmented governance limited coordination between forest departments, agriculture and trade agencies. Now let's discuss about global and Indian policy framework. Convention on Biological Diversity obligates member nations, including India, to prevent, control or eradicate invasive alien species. Ballast Water Management Convention prevents the spread of aquatic invasives via ship's ballast water. India's measures National Biodiversity Act, 2002 Center for Biodiversity Policy and Law, Chennai Research Initiatives. Local eradication control projects, though fragmented and underfunded. Now, lastly, moving on to way forward. Centralized database, comprehensive cost and impact assessment system for invasive species, prevention over cure, strengthening quarantine checks at ports and trade routes, restoration projects, large scale ecological restoration in affected landscapes. Example, grasslands, forests, community participation, involving local communities in invasive species, control and alternative livelihoods, funding and coordination, dedicated budget lines and interagency task forces for invasive management, scientific research, monitoring ecosystem level impacts and climate invasion linkages. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about invasive species. 1. Lantana camara is an invasive species in India and is native to South America. 2. The Ballast Water Management Convention was adopted to prevent the spread of invasive aquatic organisms through shipping. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1. Only B. 2. Only C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither 1 nor 2 Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.